Hello everyone, my name is Saurav Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about an algorithm known as AES algorithm. In previous video I have talked already about the DES algorithm so let's have a look on now AES algorithm which has the full name Advanced Encryption Standard. This AES encryption standard is actually better or more secure when we compare with the DES so how it is better let's have a look on it. First of all, AES is a block cipher, meaning that the encryption and decryption will be applied on blocks and that block can be number of bits. So what will be the block size when we talk about AES? It is going to be actually 128 bits. That's the block size of uh, data or a plain text which will be converted or which will be transformed in encrypted format when you are doing encryption and which will be transformed in a plain text when you are doing the decryption. So meaning that it will be making a block of 128 bits. So one block, two block, three block like that of the data and then the process will continue on each blocks. That's why it is called as a block cipher. Then the next point about the advanced encryption standard is it uses 10 rounds. Now what happens in each round I am going to discuss within this video but as of now what we can see that it uses 10 rounds. When I compare it with the DES, DES was having 16 number of rounds but again even if it is having 10 rounds which is less than 16 it is going to become more secure when we compare with the DES. Next point is the key size. So total key size which we use or which we need to use AES advanced encryption standard that is 128 bits. So what does it mean that again as, I have, uh, as you can see that the number of bits in key is better or a bigger compared to the DS because DS was using only 56 bits here we are using 128 bits that's why it is strong enough it is giving better security compared to the DS and in AES actually these keys are being represented with a term called as a word. So what is the meaning of word is actually when we uh, talk about the uh, value of it. So one word is equal to actually 32 bits. So when we talk about four words, what will be the value? So four word will be equal to four multiply by 32 that is 128 bits as similar like I told you 128 bits or we can also call it 16 bytes because each byte is 8 bits so 16 multiplied by 8 that is also going to be 128. So uh, in exam maybe uh, they ask you that what is the key size of uh, advanced encryption standard and then they may give you the option of 128 bit they may give you also option of 4 word they may also give you the option of 16 byte they all are the right answer because they are having the same value all together they are 128 bits now the next point is as i told you that they are have they are going to be 10 rounds so each round is going to require some key and that requirement is four sub key four sub key means again uh, as i told you uh, it will be having each key is as like a one word so here it is going to be 4 multiply by 32 bits that is 128 bits the calculation which we did here and why uh, when we talk about the total number of sub key it requires 44 so something is very easy to understand that it requires 10 rounds and each round requires 4 sub key so 10 multiply by 4 that is 40 sub key very clear but why it is telling me 44 sub key why not 40 the reason behind it is that it also needs 4 sub key before if it begin even its round so that is one thing I have mentioned here that it require a, or it has pre round calculation and that pre round calculation also needed 4 sub key so now if you talk about uh, 4 sub key in each round that is 10 multiplied by 4 is 40 plus 4 that is required for pre-calculation pre-round calculation and that is total is 44 here that is what I have written here the number of sub key total required is 44 next point is each sub key size so each sub key size is going to be uh, 32 bits that means one word so that's why when we talk about 4 sub key the size is 128 bits. 
Next point about that, once you do the calculation, once you go through all the process of AES, what obviously we are giving? So we are giving a block of 128 bits as a plain text. And this plain text is going to be encrypted and it will be giving us 128 bits ciphertext. That will be our output. So that is what it is mentioned here, that ciphertext it will be giving, that is also the size of 128 bits. So now before I continue, let me show you the block diagram of AES, how actually it works. So let's continue here with the block diagram first. What we are going to do is, first of all, obviously we need plain text. So we are going to be having a plain text. And as we discussed, what will be the block size? 128 bits. That will be the plain text. This plain text will be sent to a very first step that is called as a add round key and this time this process is actually pre-round we have not started the round 8 this is pre-round calculation so pre-round calculation we are going to add a round key and here we are going to use a key and that key I may call it maybe key 0 here, as I told you that it will be using four words as a key, meaning that the key will be used, those are words 0, words 1, words 2 and words 3. These four sub key will be used here. Then after completing this pre-round option, now it goes to the next. So output will be again 128 bit and then here the very first task will happen that is called as a substitute bytes or you can also call it. So let me first write here substitute bytes or you can also call it as a S box because it does the same calculation as the S box does. S box means again substitution technique and I have discussed about substitution technique in my previous video that what is substitution technique. Substitution technique means if your maybe plain text character is A, it may become C, it may become D or it may become any kind of symbol now by using some a special kind of key. So after happening the substitute, after adding this substitute bytes here, then this output will go to the next thing that is called as a shift row. So the next process will happen here that is called as a shift row. What does it mean that the row will be shifted? Which kind of shift it will be actually? So it will be a circular right shift operation. After it happening this next is going to happen that is called as a mix column. So now what is the meaning of mix column here is mix column means nothing it is like a we have to multiply with predefined matrix and that matrix is generally 4 by 4 matrix. So that matrix also I'm going to show you in this video. So there will be a mix column and finally you are going to add here uh, add round key. So these all four step now when we talk about the round key obviously we are going to add here the next key that will be my key number one here I have used key zero then I am using key one and then now every round key will be using key k2 k3 k4 like that. So this k1 will be obviously using what kind of words so if you see up from zero up to three I have already used as a k0 so it will be a starting here from w4 going up to W5, W6 and W7, word 7. Those are the four words used as a K1, key one on this round key. And this things, this complete things is called as a one round here. This entire process is actually one round. So this is my round number. When I talk about the number, this is my round actually it is going to be called as a round one. So as we have discussed earlier, how many total number of round AES uses? That is 10. Meaning that this entire steps are going to be repeated 10 times. Whatever the output will be coming after here, now it will go to the second round. Then it will go to third round, fourth round, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So after completing that 10 round, then whatever the output will be coming, that is going to be my cipher text. We have a plain text, that plain text will be 
transform into cipher text after performing 10 rounds plus one this one is actually pre-round so pre-round has already used my four sub key then each round is going to use my four sub key so obviously when we talk about round one uh, in round one which key actually i have used so we have used from w4 up to w7 so when we uh, talk about round number two which uh, sub key it will be using so obviously it will be using from w8 up to w11 then round three will be using uh, w12 up to w15 like that it will continue round three four five six seven eight nine and round number 10 so obviously round number 10 will be using the word value that is word 40 word 41 word 42 and word 43 four sub key here and now you can see total how many words has been used so starting from 0 going up to 43 that means total 44 sub key has been used including all this 10 round plus pre-round calculation so we have used the key that is k0 and it will be going like k1 k2 k3 like that now after completing this all process finally we are going to get the cipher text but one thing keep in your mind that as i have shown you in round one we are having four steps substitution bytes shift row mix column and add round key but round number 10 will be having just one difference when we talk about in round number 10 round number 10 will skip this process there will be no any process called as a mixed column meaning that in round 10 after doing the shift row it will directly go to the add round key option and then it will produce the output so let's have a look of this all things in a well manner well designed uh, diagram here so now you can see how AES works. We have the plain text. First we do is we send it to the add round key where we use words 0 up to 3. Those are my key. And then it goes to round 1. Then it goes to round 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Everything goes similar. Only you see in round number 10, we are not having here the option of mix column. And then finally it produces the cipher text. So when we talk about uh, in reverse, it will be happening exactly same here. You see here, we have the cipher text. First of all, it will use the add round key. That it will be using word 42, 43. And then it will be going through like the way we are having here in round one. It will be going through four step, then again four step, then again four step. But in last round, round number 10, it will be not having the fourth step. That means it will be just having inverse of shift row, inverse of sub key, and then add round, and then finally it will produce the plain text. So that's how we are going to have the encryption process. So this we are going to do encryption here. And this side, the diagram is showing that how the decryption will be working. So now I hope you understood how AES works and how better security it can provide. One more thing I would like to mention here that all this process is happening in a 4x4 actually matrix. So what is that 4x4 matrix is? You can see here. Even the inputs are being stored into the 4x4 matrix. The outputs are being stored in 4x4 matrix or intermediate results meaning that when you cross one step and go to second step those data are being stored into a state array and again that is also stored into 4x4 matrix even the key are being stored actually into 4x4 matrix it will be like that so it will be having four rows four column and there the key will be stored so here it is going to be k0 k1 k2 k3 k4 like that and this entire column we are going to call it as a word 0 word 1 word 2 word 3 so there will be four keys uh, four groups of the keys there and then we expand it we expand this key to make actually so many number of sub key which we have used in this each of the round so that's all about the encryption and decryption process by using the aes advanced encryption standard and i hope this video was having informative information for you all and i would like to thank you for watching